You're about to listen to the message from Pastor Dr. Alfred Ajifuwe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church. Prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. We once more thank God Almighty this morning for the goodness of God upon our life. And I pray that every one of us we will enjoy the goodness of God throughout of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, today being the last Sunday of the month of uh, September, and you know that uh, we are uh, treating some uh, topics this week and uh, this month. And today, children of God, I want to speak about uh, being a blessing, not a beggar. Be a blessing, not a beggar. You know, last week, I uh, we look at uh, people who are busybody. And uh, I believe that you have, uh, you know, have a, a new uh, mindset that is to change your mind for better than for you to be a busybody. So, for you to be a blessing, not to be a beggar. But Paul said, are in the scripture that people who don't have uh, work should not eat according to uh, Second Thessalonians chapter uh, three verses ten. That say, for even when we were with you, these we commanded you that if any uh, will not work, neither should he eat. That's according to the Bible. So, children of God. So without work, you cannot benefit any from anything. So you need to work. As I was saying, God Almighty wants us to work and Paul advises us to work. That anybody that doesn't have work will not have any income. And when you don't have any income, how can you uh, become anything? How can you eat? So that person that doesn't have anything to do will become a better. And it is not. And I pray that that should not be your, your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, you need to work. Because when you work, God Almighty will bless your work. And you'll be able to add something. Because uh, this beggar that we are talking that you should not be, a beggar uh, is, uh, is someone who has to work. Uh, a beggar who, you know, is somebody that uh, has to work but not to eat. So, anybody that is lazy and is like to, 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 to eat, you know, eat, we talk to be a beggar. So, when you are a beggar, you will have to walk and you like food. So, this one will not uh, help your life and your life cannot move forward. You know, it is better to give than to receive. So, children of God, look at what the, proper, the book of Proverbs tells us about. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 4. Say, uh, that the as not that will not plow by ceasing of the poor, therefore shall he bear in harvest so and have nothing. That is, don't be that when other people are plow, planting, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the less one, uh, you know, someone that you don't to be a beggar, he say, ah, there was too cold, and uh, the weather is not favorable, it's not favorable, right? And so on. They let complaining. But at the end, when other people who struggle during the time of cold are now harvesting, they will not have anything to harvest because they did not do anything. They are lazy. And they be, you know, and they become a, a, a beggar. So, children of God, don't make don't stop excusing yourself all the time. You complain all the time. You make excuses all the time. When you are you know, every time you are making excuses, let me tell you, what you are expecting, you cannot achieve it. So, and when, when you, you like to be complaining, to be, you know, all the time, you, what you're supposed to do, you refuse to do it. You, your life will turn to be a beggar. So please, children of God, for you to be responsible in life, you must work. Eh? So when, but when you are just complaining and you don't do the right thing that you're supposed to do, you become a beggar. So, children of God, look at those, uh, uh, even though in the school, any student that refused to study their books, 
During the time of our exam, they will fail. And some of the, you know, uh, who, who, are, who are not ready to read and to study, to ask questions, and to do the meeting uh, with their, their books, they are the ones that they are trying to, they probably try to cheat during the, the time of exam. And if I call you, if I call the, the cheater passed the exam, they cannot do anything well, further with it. Some have degree, but they cannot, uh, you know, they cannot defend it. So children of God, never be a beggar. I don't want you to depend on friends. Because there are some people who are called, you know, professional beggar. They know how to bear friends, they know how to bear family, they know you know, they are their relative. I don't phone or whatever. Uh, text message and so on. They, they are that was their life because they are lazy. They don't want to do anything. So I want you to understand that if you know, at all, you know, there's a, a city or a town that they call, they call it free town. Let me tell children of God. In the city of free town, things are not free. And things that you thought that is free, and, you know, it was some people that pay for it. Eh? And let me tell you, anybody that is giving you, giving you, eh? and you are receiving, receiving, you become a servant, a slave to that person. Because a beggar always become a slave to the lender. So, children of God, learn how to do something. It is not too late for you. This year, as the year is only to an end, let me tell you, if you are serious and you can still do things now before the year shut down, you will see that you think to, you know, to, to, to tell God about. Don't turn yourself to be a beggar. Stop begging. Stop looking for free, free, free things all the time. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 7. The rich ruled over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Look at that statement. Let me read it once more again. The rich ruled over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Look at that statement. So, children of God, stop being a borrower. Because if you are a borrower, your lender will become your, you know, uh, your, uh, your master. So if you don't want to be a slave, but your, uh, your friends or, or uh, your colleagues, you must learn how to do something. It is better for you to be, be a blessing to people than for you to be a beggar in the society, in your community. Because of people, they know them in their community, they know them, them among their, uh, their friends, they are, it's coming. And Mr. Ben Ben is coming. So please depend on, on, uh, on the work that God Almighty has given unto you. Eh? Because everybody has a, a particular thing that uh, and, you know God Almighty has ordained that person to, to be doing. And there's no work that you can do on earth that uh, there's no blessing. So there's blessing on every work because working is to serve others, that is to you know to provide solution. To solve the problem to other people. And in returns, people will bless you back. So, children of God, you can be a tailor, you can be a mechanic. A mechanic is somebody that uh, when uh, uh, someone's can, is faulty and put it in order. You know, in returns, the other of the car, we, you know, have to pay. You know, a, a baby salon, when a baby, a baba, back for you, in return, you, you know, we will pay you more money. So, children of God, so, Try to be a worker so that for you to be a blessing to others than for you to turn yourself to be a beggar. So, children of God, you know, if you don't have anything doing, go and learn something doing. Go and learn it. I remember some years back, a brother said, he, you know, he doesn't have anything to do. And then they asked him questions that they can leave there and, uh, uh, about uh, uh, for the nice uh, and the witches are great and the land is that they are passing the uh, uh, machine and today is what to do in the uh, in the business so children of God try to do something don't turn yourself to be a beggar the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 5 says uh, thou said that no cause be the man that trusted in man and uh, make the flesh uh, his arm and whose heart departed from the law. So you can see. So if you are a lazy person, you will not depend on God. You will depend on man. 
So stop depending on man. Stop depending on friend. Depend on God. And when you do this, you will see that your life will be more meaningful because when you, you know, learn uh, not to walk and God Almighty will bless and the work of your hand. Don't depend on man, you know, or relative. Don't depend on anyone. Depend on, on the, 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 your, your hand work and you depend on your God. When you do this one, you know, you'll be blessed. And pray that blessing of the Lord will be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Even on the book of um, uh, the Tadomi chapter 8, verse 18, said, But thou shalt remember thy God, that God, thy God, for it is he that divided uh, the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant uh, with, uh, which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is in this day. You can see that God Almighty is the one that, uh, you know, give us power to get rich. That is when we are working. You remember what the story of Isaac in the book of Genesis? How he saw in the, in, the, in the land that God Almighty blessed him that year that he reaped a lot of things. And you know, he did a lot of innovation and God blessed him. So children of God, God can bless the work of your hand because he's the one that gave power to someone to make rich. So I pray that God Almighty we bless the work of our hands and we make us to be rich in the mighty name of Jesus. Because uh, there is a certain song that we do sing that all power belongs to Jesus. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to Jesus. All power belongs to God. So, children of God, all power belongs to God. You don't need to do you know, abracadabra or to do any uh, magic before you get rich. God can bless you. In, 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 uh, your work, you can bless the work of your hand if you have something doing. So, and you commit it to the hands of God, He will give you power, you know, uh, to, to, to achieve and to earn uh, good things, good money from your hand work. So, children of God, don't be a lazy one. So, because uh, a lazy hand is the workshop of the devil. So, don't uh, make yourself available for Satan, make yourself available for God. To bless your, yeah, you know, your, your your hand work and then your business or your your you are working or whatever you are doing, whatever that you are doing, you are not trading or you are your salary, you are not whatever. So please depend on God and God will never disappoint you. It shall be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we all we will all be blessed in Jesus' name. Our Father, our God, we thank you this morning. We glorify your name for who you are. Daddy, I say, the name of Jesus. Daddy, I commend everyone to your hand that hears your word today. Lord, I pray that everyone will make us to be a blessing, not to be a beggar in the mighty name of Jesus. If there is anyone that the spirit of beggar is upon now, that he cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus and let your spirit be upon us and uh, uh, open our eyes to see the opportunity of the job that we need to do that will make you to bless us. That we open our eyes to see in the name of Jesus. We will all be blessed. Blessing will be our portion. We will never be a beggar. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord and Father, I pray as we are going to another month, God Almighty will judge.